Good day viewers, Sam here. I've got the caravan on the back. I've got the two little dogs on the back seat. And I'm heading on a road trip. We're going to a place called Hopeton. Hopeton in Victoria. <laughs> We're on our way over to Hopeton and I thought what we'd do is we'd have a night over at a place called Kerrang. We're at the Kerrang Holiday Park. There's a nice little setup here. I'll give you a look. There's a sign up here, I don't know what it says. Let's have a look. Bullshit corner, we solved the problem. It's a really nice place, it's not very busy at the moment. It's been a really hot day here, it's a Sunday, uh, probably 35 we got to here. It's cooled off now, expect a bit of rain, but um, no, it's a very nice spot. This is the caravan area. Here's our setup over here. Here's the swim pool. Pretty nice setup. Not many parks that I've been to actually have a dog run. They have over here. They've even got a few toys in here for them to play with. How good's that? Look at that. A few toys. That's the run. Pretty big area. Here's some of the cabins you can rent. They look pretty good. They're yeah, very nice park. We've made it to Hopeton. I'm standing at the uh, foreshore of the lake, Lake Lascelles. It's a bit windy. I've got a sock on the camera, so hopefully you can um, hear me okay. It's not a very big lake. Caravan Park. It's a Mallee Bush retreat and uh, it's got 12 powered sites and as many unpowered sites around the lake as you want to stay at. I'll give you a quick look. So right around the edge of this lake, there's all the unpowered sites. You'll see there's many caravans. At times it can be very busy here. But it's a very well maintained park. It's maintained by volunteers. Our caravan setups over here. This is the 12 powered sites over here. They've also got some accommodation houses, which we'll have a look at shortly. The volunteers do a great job. It's nice grassed areas, watered, maintained, mowed all the way around the, the lake. So we'll have a bit of a look around the boat ramp. Apparently the lake's stocked with fish. Looks like there's some rules with boats on this lake. Boats travel anti-clockwise. Maximum four boats operating at a time, maximum four laps per boat. Here's the boat ramp. Looks like a little jetty out here as well. Let's have a look. It's a good little setup. Very well maintained. Yeah, it's a credit to the people that look after it. There's no doubts about that. It's a really nice spot. There's a water refill station here if you just want to fill up your water bottles. A little bowl for the dogs. I think for more of the, the day people who want to come down here and just enjoy the lake, the grass area. There's a couple of barbecue setups here. It's like a little kitchen here area. And a great spot. Barbecues. This 
one of the amenities blocks. And we'll go over here to some of the accommodation houses, I suppose you'd call them. Huts or houses. Go look at this one. Little spot there for an open fire if you want one. It's there. I'll have a look at some of these other buildings. They're all accommodation little buildings there. Well, this one, this place here is called the Meeting Place. There's a bit of a cultural heritage here. Let's have a look. This is the Meeting Place. Before the time of European settlement, Lake Coral was a meeting place where Aboriginal tribes from the surrounding areas congregated to barter and trade. And now Hopeton Meeting Place murals provide a colourful portrayal of the Mallee's Aboriginal heritage leading to European settlement in the mid 1800s. The five mural panels are a result of a project involving Indigenous artist Richard McLean and the community of Hopeton. Well there you go eh? There's some names of people around here by the looks. There's dates, 2004. Let's have a look at some of these murals. There's a little bit of a story behind each one, I'm not going to read them all out. There's a bit of a story behind this one. A big eagle at the top there. There's another one here. There's a bit of a story if you want to read that one. Pictures here. What have we got? This sells a snake, turtle. There's some fish. Gabbies. It's like catfish. Lizards. Maybe a pot of gold. Some barty grubs or witchetty grubs. How good's that? There's another one, the accommodation places. I call this one the cow shed too. You might be able to see in this one, they're all locked up but nobody in them. Let's give you a bit of an idea. Well, this one's got a couple of beds in it. This one's a nice one. A window in there. This one here is called the stable. You'll probably see why. It's got beds all down both sides. Look at these other ones up here, amazing. They look like old silos. But they're being built as accommodation. So you can see them up there. I've been up there, you can't see into them anyway, so I won't go up there. That's what they're like. You can stay in those as well. It's amazing, really. I've never seen, never seen anything like it. I'll go around the front here and I'll have a look. Here we go, it's the front of these um, silos. Mallee Bush Retreat, Stage 5. Funded by the Victorian Government. They're amazing. But um, very nice place here, very well maintained. Like I said, I already said it once before, but the volunteers that look after this place, they do a great job. A little family of birds up there, I don't know if you can see all them. I was chasing the poor dog around before. Little baby ones. Now this is the um, another amenities block. It's also got the camp kitchen in it, so we'll have a look at that. So we've got a little table and chairs. Pretty warm in here. The sink, microwave, kettle. Vending machine, fridge. Of course, some pretty well kept barbecues. So this area is all open to the public. There's no fencing or anything like that. There's no caretakers it's on site all the time like an old caravan park. It is basically looked after by volunteers. 
and a bit of an honesty system. So that's where you put your money. There's some envelopes there. Put your money in, in the box. There's just a little bit of information there on the wall. Looks like we've got some more Aboriginal paintings here. And a bit of a story. There's a story of this one. Another one over here. Talks about European settlement, coming of the white man to the Mallee region. Clearing of the land, farming. Looks like we've got some Aboriginal art on these totem poles, I suppose you'd call them. Let's see what we got. Must have been here for a fair while. Looks like some sort of lizard or something. Let's have a look. It's over here. Looks like yabbies. A couple more over here. Looks like kookaburra. Kookaburra feet. more over here. Bit hard to see what these ones are. Oh yeah, some more goanna maybe. Here we go. Totems. That's what they are. Looks like the um, 2004 they were painted by year 7 and 8 students from Hope Town Secondary College. In the support of their art teacher, so that's what it's about. And there's our camp over there. That's our setup. I'll give you a look. Okay, well, I hope you like that overview. It's a very windy day here, we're a bit unfortunate with that. Weather's pretty mild though. It's a very, very nice place. All the um, ground around Hopeton is very agricultural. Very big paddocks, full of probably wheat and barley and whatever else they grow out here. It's blowing that hard now, I'm going to lose my hat. But, um, now the lake's got golden perch and silver, silver perch apparently, so if you do a bit of fishing, you can catch a fish here. I've actually seen somebody catch a fish here just not long ago so so I hope you like the overview anyway that's it take it easy thanks for watching and see you on the next one